tonight on For Real, the story of reality TV. Yeah! Reality TV loves shock and awe and the OMG moments that come with it. <laughs> Fighting. <laughs> the landscape had changed so much. Why should I give a about you if you don't give a about me? That I started thinking about all of the incredible bad girls who had been on all of our reality shows and how entertaining they are. And sometimes they get in their own way, but wouldn't it be interesting to do a show where you just had like seven bad girls and it's sort of like they're holding a mirror up to each other. And I took it to the Oxygen Network. It said, this is your real world. This will help define your network. In 2006, Bad Girls Club premiered and this house full of shocking HBICs lived out loud on Oxygen and made no apologies for their naughty behavior. Who is in a relationship? Yeah. No, I'm single. Yeah. Oh, hey. 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 Oxygen sees this spike in ratings with this young, diverse cast. I can't imagine being filmed when I was 20 years old. When you're discovering yourself, some of these women are more outspoken, slightly more aggressive. The original premise was that over the course of the season, the girls would reform. But the housemates were so fun to watch, producers decided to just let the girls be who they wanted to be. You are. Casting bad girls was always a challenge because you need young women who live life fully, loudly and don't follow rules. The casting calls were wild for Bad Girls Club. They were like a dance party. It was like a nightclub at nine o'clock in the morning. You know, if we were doing it at a bar, let me just tell you, they made their money that day. I am a big drinker. Most of them had rolled straight from a club. Can't remember if she made the show or not. This woman was being interviewed and you could hear this, um, zzz, you know, like this hum, right? going on and I automatically thought oh it just must be audio or something like that and the casting director broke and said do you have something on do you have something in your bag and she let she laughed went down opened up her bag and said oh I left my vibrator on and I had not seen that in a reality casting tape ever I'm young, I don't want to be tied down, like what the f is cracking? I literally was just telling it all. I cried, I drank some Grey Goose, I was dancing. Why can't you just be you and be fabulous, yo? You know what I'm saying? The casting people are packing their stuff. So I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. Can I sit down? Do y'all have a drink? They start laughing. Yeah, I can pop, I can drop it, woo! <laughs> yeah. Tanisha was, without a doubt, one of the best cast members ever on any reality show. I'd put her in my top five of all reality shows. You know what? Yeah. I'm the boss of the Bad Girls House. And if anybody doesn't like that, that's too bad. I didn't get no sick because of y'all. Y'all not gonna get a sick because of me. Pop, 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 get the up. Everybody wants to know the backstory. What happened? What the hell made you get up and bang the crap out of pots and pans? There's seven crazy bitches in the house, and they just refuse to let you sleep. I, I'm, I'm afraid I might end up in jail with one of these girls. There's no hitting. There's no physical touching. So you're going to have to find another way to release whatever it is you're feeling. I'm like, what other way? All right, I'll get something louder. No, I don't feel bad about it. I, <laughs> I, uh, I have no regrets. The no fighting rules were loosened over time because the girls were ignoring them anyway. I compare Bad Girls Club to UFC. There were so many times when like, I knew what I was gonna do and how I was gonna be able to get under someone's skin. I'm just gonna say something, I, one word is gonna trigger this girl. I was like, oh, she's gonna fight me and then she's gonna have to leave the house. And then everyone can thank me after. But not everyone's a fan of this type of show. Back then, they used to tweet and be like, oh, look at these ratchet girls on Bad Girls Club. Who do they think they are? People that do reality TV, their families pay a huge cost. A lot of brands don't want to work with people that are not classy. You know, there's a double standard when it comes to how aggressive men can be and how aggressive women can be. It's just not as accepted for women to act and be who they want to be.
Bad Girls Club came to an end in 2017, and some of the most infamous cast members have since reformed all on their own. I like to think I'm a lot more refined. I'm a mama now. It's a little bit different. I'm older now, not too old, you know. There's like 200 and something of us, a dysfunctional family, but what family in America is not dysfunctional? <laughs> Through shock and awe, reality TV pushed us to open our minds, break down our boundaries, and find the humanity in people who initially seemed quite different than us. In other words, by watching strong women pop off, we can become better people. <laughs> and that might be the most shocking part of all.